now let's go on. The task here is to find the area of these two triangles. So I need to find my base and altitude. Well, base looks like it could be this side. And the altitude I need to draw before I can actually measure it. I can measure the base, how long it is. It's close to 30, let me call it 30 centimeters. And then the altitude I need to actually draw a perpendicular line from here over here. For that purpose I will use my protractor and line up this 90 degree mark with the base and then it's a little tricky, it doesn't quite reach there to the vertex. I need to line up my 90 and then my midpoint here. There. And now I will measure how long it is. 20. Okay. So the area would be, I multiply 20 times 30, 600. I take half of that, so 300 square centimeters. Over in this triangle, where is the base? Like I said, you can choose any side to be base. This, this or this. Whichever you think is easiest. And I think the easiest is this one this time. Base at the top. And then this becomes the vertex from which you draw the altitude back towards the base. I line this 90 and this midpoint and then I slide it until my line will be going through the vertex here. Okay, and then measure 11. And then this, me measure this. It's 30 centimeters till that point. 35. Now we need to multiply and then take half of that. 385 and take half of that. Now, if it was 380, half of it would be 190. 190 and then half of 5 is 2.5. So, approximately that much. I probably should round it though because I didn't even measure it exactly to the tiniest millimeter. So, anyway, close there. You get the idea how to calculate. Draw a triangle here with an area of 200 square centimeters. Okay, again, from this I need to get 200. So, my base time altitude has to be what? It has to be 400. I have to have 400 here so that when I divide it by 2, I get 200. I have to find two numbers, the base and altitude, that multiplied give me 400. For example, 8 times 50 would be 400, or 80 times 5, or 20 times 20, or 40 times 10. You see how many possibilities, there's tons of possibilities for this. 40 times 5, I'm sorry. Let me try 20 and 20. First, the base being 20 centimeters. Then I need a height of 20 centimeters, so I need to draw a perpendicular line here, continue it until I have my 20 centimeters. Okay, and uh, this will be now a right triangle. There, that's 20 and 20 centimeters. Okay, let me try another one. 80 times, no, it's a little long. 40 times 10. I draw here 40 centimeters. This is now 40. This was 20. And 20. And now I draw 10 centimeters for my altitude. There. And of course this will be now my vertex of the triangle. So then I just draw in the lines, the sides. And there's multitudes of possibilities with this too, because I could have drawn this 10 centimeter altitude here, or here, or here, wherever. The vertex of the triangle could be in any of these spots. So you get an infinite variety of triangles with the same area. Okay, well done. I hope this was helpful.